Welcome to a world of luxury. A world of exquisite Italian design and immaculate Tuscan craftsmanship. Welcome to one of the planet's most sought after super yachts. Welcome to Veni Vidivici. In this video, we'll be looking at the tenders and the toys, the gizmos and the gadgets, the potential for pleasure and for playfulness that this remarkable yacht offers, starting right here in the master stateroom. Spanning the entire beam of the yacht at her widest point, Veni Vidivici's master suite is a testimony to understated elegance. Spacious and well-appointed, she offers wardrobe space and amenities for the most demanding of female companions and an ensuite bathroom that should not fail to meet her satisfaction too. I hope for the viewers of this video that you may enjoy that master stateroom one day, but let me show you through the accommodations in case you are a guest on board. An elegant wood and leather panelled corridor leads to a stately double cabin to port, complete with ensuite bathroom, of course. To starboard, you'll pass a beautifully appointed day head before reaching another elegant double cabin. Moving forward, a fourth cabin appears to port, this time well suited to children since it has not just bunk beds and a single, but also a Pullman bunk to accommodate four people here. The corridor finishes though with this wonderful VIP stateroom that enjoys all of the refinery of the other staterooms and more. And here, as with the other staterooms, a sumptuous ensuite bathroom. There's something about the thought that has gone into the design of the decor of this yacht that I really do like. The interiors were completely renewed this year. I mean, completely. This is all new. But the design of the staterooms is conducive to a place that you would want to go to at the end of the day and relax and fall asleep. Then in the morning to enter into this light, fresh, airy ambience where you can have an orange juice and take in the surrounding seascape is such a wonderful prospect. Now there is something else about this area that I want to show you later on in the video, a feature that is great and very popular with charter guests. But before we do that, let's do what I think most of us would want to do at the beginning of a day on a super yacht. Let's go and play. As far as the toys are concerned on Veni Vidi Vici, you have to remember that this is an Italian designed yacht built by the Overmarine shipyard in Viareggio. If there's one thing that Italians know how to do, it is how to make something look very cool indeed. Two Spark Sea-Doo jet skis are concealed in spacious side lockers and can be launched to provide hours of entertainment as you speed through beautiful bays and secluded coves, enjoying the thrill of the wind in your face and appreciating the size and the lines of the yacht that you've just left. A 16-foot Castaldi jet tender fits neatly into the aft garage too to provide comfortable transport to shore or to use for exploring the local coastline. And for charter guests on board Veni Vidivici, she comes complete with these wonderful sea bobs. Anybody who's had the pleasure of using these will know what tremendous fun they can be.
This particular model of yacht is well known for its deck space though. Her long aft deck makes an irresistible temptation to pass hours soaking in the sun or enjoying drinks with friends at her central dining table. Personally, I can hardly think of a better spot to sit and enjoy watching the Monaco Grand Prix so close to the event itself that you can hear the roar of the engines. But if you want a more secluded spot to unwind and recharge your batteries, a short walk past Veni Vidovici's undulating superstructure brings you to this wonderful forward sunbed and seating oasis. Those undulations on the superstructure are so distinctive to Mangusta yachts. It's a timeless design. Now, I said earlier that if there's one thing that the Italians are good at, it's making things look cool. But strictly speaking, that's not true. As a lover of Italy and all things Italian, I can tell you that they're very good at a whole number of things. Not least is making objects move fast. Very, very fast. And Veni Vidivici does go very quickly indeed. Two powerful MTU engines connect to water jets to thrust this vessel forward at speeds up to 37 knots. You may be accustomed to seeing that on small speedboats, but to take a 130 foot yacht carrying all of that marble and cabinetry inside and jettison it forward at such speeds without so much as cracking a wine glass that's a real testimony to the build quality and engineering of the vessel. So we've established that the Italians know how to make a yacht look amazing. They know how to put it together very well. They know how to make it go very fast. But it would be impossible not to also mention the one attribute of the Italians that they are most famous for. They do like their food and they know how to appreciate it. Now to fully enjoy a spaghetti allo scoglio, a spiedini di calamari, sea bass cotto sotto sali washed down by a lovely fresh glass of vermentino you need to have a good galley and more than that you need to be able to create the right ambience on Vedi Vidi Vici you can do just that Both the owner of this yacht and his guests and many, many charter guests can testify to what a wonderful yacht Veni Vidivici is. Now that she has a new interior, she stands out from the crowd of every other Mangusta 130 on the market. And she is on the market and available for sale to a new owner who can either decide to use her for his own personal use or to keep her as a commercially registered vessel that pretty much covers her running costs every year through charter. That is an amazing opportunity and I'm delighted to represent the owner of this yacht together with my colleague, Ed Dickinson. Now our email addresses will appear on screen in a few moments, but before that, take a moment to enjoy this sensational super yacht that represents everything that is great about Italy and the Italians. <laughs> 